This week in comic book horror, we've got another horrifying haul of haunted comics hitting the shelves on Wednesday, December 22nd, 2021. <laughs> Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. Let's check out this week in comic book horror, December 22nd, 2021. Sonia Devereaux, Scream Queen, Summer Camp, Massacre, number one is from American Mythology. The story is by Todd Livingston and Nick Kapitanakis, with art by Brandon Frame and Brian Frame. If you're a fan of Scream Queens and Z-grade horror, and why aren't you, then this one's for you. It stars wonderful and scrumptious Scream Queens, Brink Stevens, Tiffany Sheppis, Linnea Quigley, Michelle Bauer, and the fictional star of this book, Sonia Devereaux, as they take on the horrifying menace of Ragface a serial killer bent on massacring everyone at the Scream Queen summer camp. This one also guest stars iconic filmmaker Fred Olin Ray. Low-budget horror fans will have a lot to love with this book that proudly displays its gore, cheese, and of course... Ass, titties, ass and titties, ass, ass, titties, titties, ass and titties. Silence number two is from Second Sight Publishing. The story is by Evan K. Posios, with art by Alex Sanchez. A comic book artist seeks solitude and inspiration and seems to have found it in the small town of Silence. But there is something wrong with this town, as the artist will soon find out. I'm getting a very good Stephen King vibe from this one. I love the movie cover as well. Tarot, Witch of the Black Rose, number 131, is from Broadsword Comics. The story and art are by Jim Ballant. When the Krampus steals the soul of Puka... Taro must venture into the Krampus's personal hell to rescue her beloved familiar. But come on, just admit it. You're buying this one for the... Ass, ass, titties, titties, ass, and titties. I do have to admit, I am quite impressed that Jim Ballant has been able to churn out 131 consecutive issues of Taro. Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Number 113 is from DC Comics. The story is by Ivan Cohen, with art by Valerio Ciola. Shaggy, Scoob, and the gang make a guest appearance on their favorite YouTube series about building elaborate box forts, but the host is being haunted by a wood spirit out for vengeance. More hijinks ensue with the gang who were my gateway into horror as a kid. I'm pretty sure they were yours as well. We Don't Kill Spiders, number three, is from Scout Comics. The story and art are by Joseph Schmalky. This series about serial killers, dark cults, supernatural horrors, and people out to vanquish them is one moody little number, all done by the capable and talented hands of Joseph Schmalky. I'm always a fan of writers slash artists who are able to cut out the middleman and just get to the sights and words themselves. Add on some creepy-ass covers, and We Don't Kill Spiders looks to be one unique horror comic. Refrigerator Full of Heads, number three, is from DC Comics. The story is by Rio Yours, with art by Tom Fowler. I've been told this series is worth checking out, according to the comments section down below. That's good enough for me. I do love this cover, where a severed head grumpily attempts to steer a deer who is carrying him in his mouth. That's farcically funny stuff, and my type of morbid. The Night of the Ghoul, number three, is from Comixology. The story is by Scott Snyder, with art by Francesco Francavilla. This comic blends filmmaking with the audience in creative ways, as a retired filmmaker is being cared for by a cult he made a movie about, which somehow crosses over with a man and his son falling further and further into their own nightmare. This is a unique and high-concept horror from one of the best horror meisters in the biz, Scott Snyder. Darkhold Spider-Man number one is from Marvel Comics. The story is from Alex Pacnadel, with art by Diogenes Neves. These Darkhold one-shots are hit and miss for me. I like the Iron Man one, but the Wasp and Blade ones left me cold. Here's hoping a dark take on Spider-Man, something that's been done plenty of times before, will be worth my time. 
Diogenes Neves is a great artist, though, so at least we have pretty pictures to look at. House of Slaughter number three is from Boom Studios. The story is by James Tiny and the Fourth and Tate Bromvall, with art by Chris Sheehan and Werther Deladera. I'll be catching up on Tiny and Something is Killing the Children, as well as the first few issues of House of Slaughter over my holiday break. The first art was absolutely thrilling, and as Tinian expands on this universe, his unique way of telling stories truly shines through, as this seems to be his favorite book of the bunch that he writes these days. Can't wait to delve into the darkness Tinian so capably doles out in this series. It's just a little pile of comics this week. Any of them interest you? Let me know which ones down in the comments. That'll be it for today. Please chime in down below in the comments and let me know how on the nose or mind-numbingly wrong I am, or you can counter with your own review. So guys, you know how YouTube works. I'd love to be able to dedicate more time to this channel. I'm not monetized yet, so if you want to help me out, remember to hit all the pertinent bells and whistles down below. Want some spooky comics to read? I have two new horror comic book trade paperbacks you should look out for. Both Grave Trancers and Pirouette, collecting never-before-published issues, can be found in only the finest of comic book shops. If you're looking for written reviews, you can find them on my website, mlmillerwrites.com. If you really want to show your support, I also have a Patreon page, at mlmiller. Look for the link to my Patreon page down below. Thank you so much for your time, and take care. Stuck inside your reality You're doomed Oh, you're doomed You're Yeah.